Hi, everyone. Um, hopefully, you can all hear me. We're going to get started in a moment with our uh, speaker series. So just to, um, since I hope you all, just to get everybody on the same page, this is the monthly um, Wiki Education speaker series. Our focus today is the uh, is how Wikipedia handles the climate crisis. And we're joined by several panelists who have a variety of experience and a variety of skills in terms of, um, in terms of this topic. So just by, by way of introduction, I'm Ian Ramjohn. I work with, uh, I work for Wiki Education. I support primarily student editors in our student program. I've also been a Wikipedian for a long time. Uh, April will make it 20 years since my first edit. And um, my uh, I used to be very active in the area of climate change. I uh, kind of burned out in the climate wars around 2010, but um, I'm still very interested in that area. I'm an ecologist by training and the I'll let the um, panelists introduce themselves, but we have uh, Suleen Brodsky, Janet Tapaldo, Marilyn Waite, and Julio Postigo. Um, one more panelist, uh, Dawn, should be here soon. Um, apparently has some technical challenges getting in. Uh, during the course of the presentation, please feel free to type uh, questions into the chat um, and we'll try and get to them towards the end of the of the um, meeting. So um, just let me start with, um, I'll start with uh, Sulein because she got here first. <laughs> or was it who <laughs> got here? Um, can you, Tell me a little bit about how you became a Wikipedian and how Wikipedia's coverage of the climate crisis has changed in the time you've been there. Um, and please introduce yourself first. Sure. Um, so I'm uh, Sulane Brodsky. Um, I've been a volunteer Wikipedia editor for about 17 years. Um, uh, off in my in the real world, I, I, I work as a freelance writer in the technology uh, high tech industry. Um, so about 17 years ago, um, just saw an article I thought I could improve and just went for it. Um, uh, so, you know, there's the XKCD cartoon, you know, there's some, I can't sleep because uh, th there's something wrong on the internet. Uh, so Wikipedians are kind of like that. Uh, we, you see something that's wrong on Wikipedia and you're like, this, this, this has got to get, this has got to get fixed. And um, initially I wrote mostly about marine biology topics. That was just a you know, something that I was interested in, and it was an opportunity to learn about uh, things that I was interested in, and discovered that I, I liked the people that um, that were editing in this topic area. Um, I didn't write about climate until about five years ago. Um, uh, and uh, I was, again, looking, you know, had have always been interested in climate and interested in, uh, in environmental issues. Um, so about five years ago, I was looking at this article on uh, Wikipedia article on sustainable energy. And I'm like, this is the worst article on Wikipedia. This is awful. And I'm not used to working in this topic area, but you know, I think I can make this suck less. I see it can't get any worse. Uh, so I, I just kind of kept at it, um, you know, discovered that I really enjoyed reading the sources in this topic area. Um, it, it's just was very interesting and found that, you know, getting working on this article, it was getting better. It was getting better and uh, edits were sticking. And um, I was again, meeting some uh, people I enjoyed working with and it was a very empowering experience I found and found that this is where I feel like I can make a difference in climate um, and in energy uh, and in access to energy. Those are interests of mine. Um, in terms of how Wikipedia's climate coverage has changed, uh, you know, I'd, I'd heard about those climate wars that that uh, that Ian had been referring to, and that really was off-putting for me. I'm not the kind of person who likes 
who who wants to do that uh, for fun. Um, I tend to avoid online conflict. Um, but I'd say socially, it's really changed a lot. Uh, so 15 years ago, you had this war zone, um, and it was really centered on this question of whether climate change is real. And um, what I found surprising is that Climate has become a pretty low conflict topic area. I'm not sure why the dynamics have changed, but they've changed a lot. Um, so now the dynamics in this topic area is everyone, you know, everyone who's who lasts, um, everyone who lasts more than a day um, agrees that climate change is real. Um, and when we disagree, we tend to have a civil discussion about it. Uh, so you know, it's, it's not, we don't always, we don't always agree. Um, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a big tent. There's, there's lots of different opinions and, and motives involved, but it's, uh, it's, it's, it's an okay environment to be in and, and often it's fun. Um, in terms of article content, there's been a real broadening of our co coverage from just climatology, it's a science, towards looking at solutions. So these days uh, we've seen a shift towards, you know, trying to prove our articles around, okay, how are we going to solve this problem? How are we going to transform the way we do energy, transport, agriculture, land use? Um, but I really want to point out that a lot of it just hasn't changed fast enough. So we've got a really, really small group of, poor group of climate editors. It's like, you know, 50 people maybe. Um, and when it comes to these important articles on solutions, um, uh, we've got some really poor articles, really poor high traffic articles that haven't been updated in like 10 years. So things are not moving fast enough. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you very much. Um, Jenna, you and you entered our uh, world through the uh, Scholars and Scientists program. Can you tell me a little bit about well, about yourself and a little bit about how you see Wikipedia as important, you know, what motivated you to to get involved? Yeah, sure. Hi, everyone. Um, thanks for having me here and all of us here today, Ian. Um, I am a PhD student at the City University of New York um, School of Public Health. Um, my area of expertise is climate impacts on health. My degree is in environmental and planetary health sciences. I also uh, study demography as well, so population trends. Um, I was recruited kind of uh, into this uh, Wikipedia scientist program um, into the climate solutions sort uh, course to learn how to edit Wikipedia. I had, I'm kind of, I'm probably the newest Wikipedia editor here. I only started editing Wikipedia about mm, seven or eight months ago when I enrolled in this course. Um, it's been a really exciting opportunity because Wikipedia is something that I have been using since I was a kid. I'm also probably one of the youngest people here. Um, and we, when I was in elementary school, we would play Wikipedia games trying to get from one page to another page. Um, so it's really been a huge part of my life um, as an academic and as a researcher looking, learning um, about different topics. I mean, when I was a kid, I feel like it's kind of shifted from um, hearing like, oh, Wikipedia isn't reliable to when I eventually started becoming a researcher hearing um, from my bosses that Wikipedia is a really good starting point. They, they cite really good sources and it's a really good place to look. So I feel like in terms of climate change, um, climate, as uh, Celine mentioned, is and traditionally has been a very politicized topic. Um, there's a lot of myths and disinformation out there. And Wikipedia um, is a source that a lot of people look to to get an overview on a topic and that includes things about climate change um, that includes th people like the general public and also students and also people that are looking more into these um, areas um, as researchers as policy makers uh, many people use wikipedia for different reasons um, so i think that in terms of climate i think that it's important that Wikipedia have high quality sources that we're incorporating information from some of the most well-renowned sources of climate, such as the Intergovernmental Panel on, Panel on Climate Change, um, making sure that the information is up to date, like Suleen said. Um, I think a lot of the articles that I've looked at or have edited a little bit are 
um, articles that may have some information on climate, but may be missing um, some of the more new developments in the field. I've actually created a few pages on topics that um, I'm familiar with through my own research that I noticed were missing. Um, and then I've also tried to update some information where uh, we have past projections from the like 2000, right? And there's been updated um, information from scientists. Um, every few years or so, they release updated climate projections and thinking about um, the different ways that climate change has already manifested and how it may be predicted to manifest. So I think um, in general, just have making sure that there, the information is there, the information is well cited and reliably cited and making sure it's up to date is really important. Um, and especially as we think about climate change, not just as like from a science perspective, but also thinking about how it impacts pretty much every single uh, realm of society, um, from culture to food, to the way we live our lives every day, to our everyday experiences. So, yeah. Thanks. Um, and I think that is a good segue into uh, Marilyn's area. If you want to introduce yourself and a little bit of why, how you see it relevant to your area of interest. Yes, thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Marilyn Waits, and I lead something called the Climate Finance Fund, and we back initiatives to mobilize capital for climate change, focusing mostly on the economies of China, the European Union, and the United States. And so the Climate Finance Wikipedia page is also out of date, not as bad as the 10 years that Tulane mentioned, but still, if you refer to 2020, that is a long time ago in the climate world in general, but also climate finance with so many things happening in the marketplace, um, especially in, in the COVID era or post-COVID era. Um, so just by observation, very little context, especially the historical roots and connections with environmental, social, and governance or sustainable investing, responsible investing, it's currently heavily skewed towards public finance and within public finance, kind of multilateral development finance, which is the smallest fraction of the whole ecosystem. Um, so it's it's very much um, restrained right now. There's also no country analysis, um, no capital pool type analysis, venture capital, climate finance versus bank lending climate finance, for example. So you don't have the the depth and the breadth necessary to really get a good grasp of the topic as you do for some of the other Wikipedia um, coverage or articles. And so I so happened to meet someone affiliated with the Wiki Education um, Program. And so I think someone put in the chat already the, um, yeah, wikiedu.org slash learn. And so we're backing two new initiatives. It sounds like something similar to what Jenna just mentioned but focusing on climate finance um, so that we can improve, help improve the content. I wouldn't call myself a Wikipedian. I am, I do have editing capacity, but I haven't actually written full articles or um, attempted a major edit. Um, I've actually found it very unfriendly. <laughs> so so um, very inaccessible. Um, when I have tried some things, I've been shut down. So I, I'm looking forward also to um, participating as, as a, um, as a, as a learner in, in the cohort that we're backing as well. That's sort of why we exist to try and help people um, because there is, I mean, Wikipedia has a very low barrier to entry for your first edit. And then beyond that, it get, can get very hard and managing the community and all that. So yeah, that's Absolutely. not alone and yep. feeling that way. Um, Absolutely. And thank you. Uh, Julio, could you uh, introduce yourself and talk a little bit about uh, how Wikipedia is relevant to your interests? Um, hi, everyone. Um, and thank you, Ian and the Wikipedia colleagues for, for the invitation. Uh, I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Geography at Indiana University. So I'm saying hi for here from, from Bloomington, which is very, very foggy, interestingly, kind of not yeah humid and foggy not snow so it's warming up uh and and i also uh, i'm also a, a lead author in the the most recent uh, the sixth assessment report of the ipcc in, in in the in the chapter for central and south america and contributing author for another i think like six chapters uh and i 
got involved in Wikipedia through the, the Wikipedia uh, education project, right? So I, I run, I have run courses using the Wikipedia, but I don't know, Ian, you want me to talk about that or should I go later, later with that, right? I, the, uh, and the, the thinking on, on Wikipedia and how it helps me, it definitely helps me a lot with my class, right? That to me, that's like fantastic. It's uh, as, a, as, a, as a faculty, the, the, the folks in the wiki education component are fantastic. Um, the but something that I want to comment on some of what the previous presenters have said, and, and interestingly to me, and Ian mentioned the, the, the climate battles, to me it's clear that at least in academia, the contrarians have been defeated. Right, that, that there's no there's no much debate whether you know climate change exists in, in academia and science is, is overwhelmingly you know uh, uh, provided over, over overwhelming amount of proof and, and demonstration. So I, I don't see debate there, which is great. Uh, but something that I think it's interesting is that at least if we use the last COP, you know, conference of parties, we, we see how the, the the representation of of the corporate world taking over the control of the conference and and being at the helm of the conference, it, it really you see that how they did they didn't really need to to be the winners in the debate in, in debate in academia right because they are positioned they position themselves there so they can really manage the, the political debate and shift the conversations and the negotiations in ways that ended up not being really you know powerful and 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 a lot of uh, you know, uh, societal elements uh, are very unsatisfied uh, with the outcomes of this conference of parties, and it grow. And there's a growing dissatisfaction, and and, and I think is is very um, dangerous that there is least, less and less interest and belief in the capacity that policy at the global negotiations will make any significant results in terms of you know curtailing global emissions and all of that so so to me it's like okay well it didn't matter much that the academic debate is over because in the political arena you know it seems like they are they are winning uh, and, and to me that is very very uh, problematic to, to say uh, the least Along those lines, you know, maybe a, a bone to pick with, with Wikipedia is this idea of climate crisis, right? because it, I don't know if that label helps us, you know, because to me, it kind of puts the spotlight not on the causes of the problem, but just in the symptom. So it's climate is in crisis. Well, I don't know. Climate is functioning, right? It is the society and societal forces that particularly in the last seven years have accelerated the you know, production and all of that. And that, that's what has put us in where we are. So to me, maybe bring, we should bring back the attention to those societal economic, economic drivers of change and try to understand and change those in order to you know, address and tackle the impacts of climate change. Thank you. Thank you. It's good things to think about, especially given the title I chose. <laughs> um, Don, could you talk a little bit about how uh, Wikipedia is relevant to your area of interest and what brought That's in it. yourself? First of all, I apologize for being, it is possible to show up late, um, even on Zoom, it was the links. We figured out what the issue was. It's having different email addresses from Gmail to York University. I'm a professor at the third largest university in Canada, York in Toronto. I know the fog that you're talking about, Julio of the Great Lakes, very foggy here as well. You're very close by to me. Um, and I have been teaching about climate change in my undergraduate biology courses since 1990, decades and decades. I've faced deniers at talks um, 
from 20 years ago, but what about Wikipedia? So I was um, somebody that since I guess 2015, 2014, 2014, 2013, has been teaching how to edit Wikipedia in my um, fourth year. I think you, if you're in the States, you would call that senior, the, the, the final graduating year of applied plant ecology. So the biology course where you take the research and you apply it to the real world. Um, and I've always done applied research, whether it's forest management or invasive species management or climate change impacts on vegetation. And um, I was very keen on teaching students to edit Wikipedia because it's open access. Uh, right now, I'm hoping there is a bunch of students from Applied Plant Ecology right now. They have to do a summary of this panel. So I need to be quiet and listen, have them listen to the panelists, what the panelists have to say. Um, and uh, they have to do a TikTok style two minute video. Yeah, go TikTok as a means of science communication. Um, I'm actually um, the official contact for the United Nations Climate Secre Change Secretariat. Uh, um, we are an observer since 2009 and I send people to the cops. So Julio, I totally hear what you're saying. And if you if your university doesn't have observer status, contact me. I can, if, if you haven't been in the room at the annual 10,000 people trying to negotiate around the politics of climate change. So Wikipedia is where the rubber hits the road from my students and um, I am really, here's a final exam question for my students this semester. You were invited back to your high school to give some kind of um, speech to the high school. And Jenna, I loved that you were doing Wikipedia stuff in school because the topic of the speech they are to write is, hey teachers, stop telling students not to read Wikipedia. So you've got so many, you know, the access to high quality information. The latest paper in Nature by Aslet et al. showing that people who do their own research on these topics from vaccination success to COVID to climate change, they are they don't know what high quality information looks like. They're probably not reading Wikipedia because a teacher told them not to. And they are more likely to believe a conspiracy theory. Oh, how horrible is that? I'll, I'll put the reference in. It just came out. So we are teaching students to improve the quality of information, make it open access, get it out from behind paywalls. That's why I'm here. And thank you to the young people here, because I'm a very tired person. I've been doing this for over 30 years. And um, I will be listening for what you're doing today. And Julio, thank you for your work writing. Uh, the IPCC reports, it is thankless work to bring the research to the public. Many people will equate the work Julio is doing with what Uncle John, the climate change denier, wrote from the basement. Many members of the public think it's the same. Um, so looking forward to being here. Uh, what an honor to be here. And that's pretty much me. I'm going to listen and take notes. Um, quickly before I do this, I was supposed to do this long ago. <laughs> um, supposed to start with this. So this is just a little bit about um, what Wiki Education does. We run several programs. One of them is the classroom program where we work with uh, faculty in higher ed like Dawn and Julio to teach their students how to edit Wikipedia and they go on to make remarkable contributions. Um, we also have a program where we directly teach people to edit Wikipedia or Wikidata, and then we can partner with, with various organizations. So this is just a summary of the links, teach.wikipedia.org, learn.wikipedia.org, or partner.wikipedia.org. We'll have a little more there, but if you go to uh, if you go to them, you will see some more about the uh, the programs we do, particularly in the um, in the area of of uh, we have a number of courses coming up in the area of climate finance, which my colleague Melissa will introduce in a in a moment, in a little while. Um, but along that way. Um, 
uh, Julio, could you talk a little bit about what the experience was like to have your students contribute to Wikipedia um, and, you know, particularly in the area, uh, in areas sort of climate change related and, you know, what, how they found it and how you found it as an instructor? Yes. Um... The first reaction for the students was surprised. Like, what? Where? So we, we are not having like midterm, and we are have to, have to to do this, and it's like a semester long project. And the the way I do it, um, I don't know how Don does it, but I uh, each student picks a topic, and it can be a new topic, or they can they can choose topics that are underdeveloped, or you know uh, they they feel that they can contribute. And then I group the students in, in groups of three. And so each student has a role. One is, you know, uh, the, the fact checker, the other is the Wikipedia expert, and the other is the writing expert. So, but each one writes their, their, their part, the topic, and then the others kind of like peer review and help. So if I don't know how to, you know, put some figure, they will go to the Wikipedia expert and that student should help them out and, and all of that. So, so, so that to me, it was it was um it was interesting in many levels the students uh you know they have to they they have to find the topics that interest them and they think they're relevant right those are usually associated oh, i'm interested in this because i think this is important for multiple reasons so the um and then of course i try to to navigate the differences and, and say hey this is maybe more important, why then you focus your attention on this and that. But it was, to me, the first thing is it was the evidence that for all this, none, I, did, I haven't had any student says, I don't care about climate, I don't care about climate change. So it's like, wow. So this is, this is a step forward, right? So they are all interested in this. And then the, the other thing that it was um, important um, and it very helpful for me is the, the, the Wikipedia provides this template right that it's is the, the structure that my weeks and all of that so to me that's very helpful it's like oh wow this is almost as good as making the syllabus for me um and then all the support that they have on the side you know in terms of, of how to do things and, and if there is a problem how to uh, so sort of like the, what I call technical issues, right? Because I'm not a Wikipedia expert. And so I'm like, I, I don't know if there's a problem, there's a link, click there and talk to the aspect, aspects and ask them the questions and the, the technical part of it. The the other element is that there is um, the exercise, the assignment is progressive throughout the semester. So they can, you can see how they start developing a, ideas in a very simple way that they formulate, oh, I want to contribute to this. And, 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 and by the fact of reading more and, and understanding other approaches, other perspectives, their own thinking on the topic becomes much more sophisticated. And they start identifying different points of view, controversies, and it's like, oh, but in, it is a challenge for them as, as, as a young people to be sort of like neutral, right? Because in, in that, they are in a position of a scholar. So it's like, oh, you cannot say this is good and this is bad. No, no, you report the positions and, you know, and they're like, oh, oh, oh. So it's, it, it, it forces them to take a step back. And that's, that's I think that's good for them because they, they start learning that distance that they should try to have. At the other element, uh, that I think is, is, is new for them is this um, the fact that they have to be responsible for what they write. Their name are not their names are not there, but I say, well, you, you choose a username, and once it's out there, the community will evaluate this. So so be careful, be serious, be responsible. And for them, it's like, oh wow, oh I didn't know this is gonna be read by you know. 300 people or 20,000 people. Oh, 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 oh. It, it creates a sense of responsibility that uh, is very different than I think that if they are just writing a, a midterm essay, right? The only one who's going to read it is your professor who is going to give you a grade. This is 
a collective peer pressure that works instills them the fear of God and they like, oh my God, I have to be serious and responsible and put sources and all of that. So, so I appreciate that because in a way, it, it also brings them closer to, to what is the, 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 the production of knowledge and how you link your, your work as an academic with society and society needs and questions. Um, the, uh, I, I can tell you more in stories and all of that, but some of the problems that we have, you know, with, with citations and references and, and some of the editors, you know, came back to us and say, hey, this is, you know, need, need more sources and which is, which is, was, which was great. And it was good for the students to have a sense of accountability. You cannot just write stuff, uh, you know, I tell them, we don't care much about your opinions. Is to be supported by evidence, and they're like, oh, okay. Uh, so, so no, the experience is, is great. The students value it and, and like it, and 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 they feel that also they can contribute. And and I think this sense of of sort of like responsible citizens by providing you know well supported knowledge in a very democratic uh, way, which is through Wikipedia, anybody can access it. So that for them. It puts them in in society in a larger context. So I, I like that. Um, Don, how does it does this sort of match with your experience, or do you have some different thoughts on things? Um, can I just uh, lots of overlap? I've actually um, adapted since I started teaching students to edit Wikipedia with assignments in upper year biology and ecology courses. Um, with topics, everything from ozone to climate change to invasive species. Um, there's like 10 standard seminar topics. Um, I am so grateful that Wiki EDU has come up with the dashboard, which me and my friend, the science librarian who, who he and I launched Ada Lovelace Day, Wikipedia editathons to raise women. We've done so many of these editathons. Um, thank you so much for what you've done because we used to teach it by we used to, we used to, we, you have improved what we did. I love the dashboard. And Marilyn, you were saying that um, it's so counterintuitive. Okay, can I just say the trauma, I'm still recovering from the trauma of the non-visual editor where you used to have to edit Wikipedia with, I always say Wikipedia editing was like, let's take some of this language and shake it up with this language, programming language and uh, whatever, and shake it up and spit it out and, Holy cow. Every every time I ran these assignments, I myself, we we learned to be Wikipedia editors in 2013. Pain, pain, pain. It's actually gotten easier. It's actually easier. Um, and I've had a lot of people come at me because I've written um op-eds in the Washington Post about Wikipedia needing to up its coverage of um, disenfranchised people and minority voices and equity diversity. I've had a lot, had a lot of hate mail. So um, I love the Wiki Edu dashboard. I really believe if it wasn't there, I might have given up with the Wikipedia assignments because so much work. On the other hand, um, I have actually now... Um, Julia, I've worked with Helen Blumenthal at the foundation to change the way I do it. Students, the only thing they have to do is this, this semester, for 20% of their final grade, add 10 references to applied ecology related topics. I've actually given them things that they can do, um, including climate change impacts. And somebody, I did answer a Q&A about AI generated information. Actually, Wikipedia is a little bit, it, it, it's, it, it's, got, it's got built in defense against that because you are adding solid, reliable primary and secondary sources to a tertiary encyclopedia. So the students have to really verify the source. And then it doesn't really matter what they write in the main piece of the article to link up that reference. Their goal is to get the reference in. So I'm not too worried if it's bad grammar. And I'm just saying, just write what you did. You know, you're just, you're, they're not creating new pages. So back in the day, Julio, we, we did create new pages and we got so much grief for that. So I took that away because students were crying. They were crying. Um, so I've tried to reduce the pain 
Um, I've, yeah, I, every, every year I, I take on a project, which is going to get me pain but not under the way I edit with the Wikipedia. I use a different username because otherwise people actually track me under Dawn Baisley and they'll come and reverse all my changes on whatever I'm doing. And by the way, my pages on white male scientists, because I do those two from scratch, they never get struck down. They never get struck down. My pages on women academics, particularly black women, for example, or indigenous women, even though they are perfection, they meet everything. Oh, they just, I'm st I still have a big target painted on my back, but not for, the, so I actually have a completely different username and I get my students, Julio, I hope you do this. They have pen names. They do like Latin names. Like I say, never edit under your own name. Yeah. Just not worth it because someone will come for you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say that, Ian. You know, you, you, it's still an issue. Yeah, it's 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 a very good idea to edit under a pseudonym. You know, no matter what topic you're you're writing on, and you can, if you want, you can put your real name on your user page, and then you can get rid of it later if you if you change your mind. Um, that question of uh, adding new pages uh, versus versus editing existing one ones. There's so much need in the climate area for people to fix up existing pages. Um, and it's so difficult to get new pages accepted. Um, and, and they're very different skill sets as well. The, the skills that you need to edit an existing page and to add a new page, they're almost orthogonal skills. Um, so I really encourage new people to look at existing topic, existing articles and in, in what they know. And you're also going to get more, just reach more readers that way. You know, uh, new articles often get very few readers. Yeah, I can okay. attest to that as well. Yeah. I think um, one of the pages I created uh, pretty much immediately got flagged for review being like, is yeah. this actually its own thing? Is it important? Yeah. Meanwhile, yeah. there's it's, it's like an emerging topic. Uh -huh. It's uh -huh. energy security, the way we think about food insecurity. Research, uh -huh. Researchers uh -huh. are now starting to uh, apply that concept of scarcity and who can afford it to yeah. energy. And that yeah. page didn't yeah. exist. I created it and somebody... Yeah. It, which is fine and that that's the way the website works is it, it's supposed to go under review by other folks but um what? getting that email i was like oh no is somebody's gonna take my page down is a little uh, discouraging but yeah, I, I definitely agree like there's a huge need um for existing pages to be edited as well yeah and and when you edit an existing page the people who are reviewing your work are going to be people who kind of are interested already in that topic new pages get tend to get reviewed by people who have absolutely no idea what this what climate or energy or anything is They're why just, is that why isn't that fixed it seems like that's a fundamental flaw in in terms of new pages being reviewed by right by, because by for example somebody. the climate finance bill we will need a whole lot of new pages to make it yeah, interesting <laughs> um yeah. mm -hmm. and so i i would rather that go to people editors who have some knowledge um yeah yeah. So I'm wondering, do you, is there a rationale for that? Or is that just the flaw in how Wikipedia has historically done things and still does it? Um, so Wikipedia works by, you know, people will just do whatever task they're interested in. And reviewing new edit new pages is a task that, you know, people can either choose to do or not choose to do. Nobody tells you to be, you know, to go to go uh, be a new page uh, reviewer. And so you, you know, okay, so you think, okay, I'm going to go review some new pages. And it's like, okay, you, you, review, you review 10 pages and eight of them are spam. You know? <laughs> and and um, so we, Wikipedia has a huge spam problem. Um, you know, Ian was saying, you know, low barrier to entry, but then it gets hard. Low barrier to entry. And then it gets really hard because the first people you're going to deal with are the spam filters. Uh, the, the, the people, most new articles are people promoting themselves, you know, uh, people promoting their new real estate development, cryptocurrency, whatever. It's, so much crap gets in and, and, and the people who do review pa new pages tend, up to get, tend to get really jaded. That's, that's, that's what's going on. And it's a really hard problem to solve. I mean, if you can think of how to solve it just from a, you know, kind of community social engineering perspective, we, we, uh, that would be, that would be great. <laughs> I'd have it go to, based on the yeah. keywords, go to those who are already flagged to um to be interested in those topics or to edit those topics and so on so i would i would it it it, it is and and even it but it's it's uh it's really hard to, like even the stuff that does end up getting flagged as climate stuff a lot of that's pretty 
or, or just it's 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 a lot a lot of it's pretty bad too. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we, uh, it, that, yeah. That's sort of what again what uh, Wiki Education tries to do is get yeah. people if they're creating something new, help them get it to the point where, um, you know the yeah. the new page reviewers might tag it for tone or structure or something, but it looks, it tends to look enough like an article that they're not going to immediately say, hopefully they won't immediately say this is, um, uh -huh, you know, this, uh -huh. is this needs to be deleted. But the, I mean, it's, it is a challenge and probably our biggest challenge is nobody reads, so you can create all the instructions you want. <laughs> Um, yeah, but yeah, it's, so it's sort of intro. why we um, exist. I, with, have, with... I have to hop off, but thank you all for having yeah, me. Yeah, thank you very much for being here. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, on a positive note, if you're editing existing articles um, and you know what you're, you know what you're saying, you're, you're, you're you know, you, you know what you're talking about. Um, it's it that you know instead of this big fight, you know, basically instead of like you know a, a, a very high rejection rate, you, you have a very high acceptance rate. So most edits to new articles are accepted, you know, um, and and uh, especially if you're using good, especially, you know, well, you need to be using good sources. If you're using good sources, your goals are well aligned with, with Wikipedia's goals. Um, a lot of what you were saying about climate finance, you know, the, 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 the issues with the climate finance articles, and it's like, we'd love to have someone fix that article. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I think the kinds of issues that you're bringing, bringing up are just really, really wonderful. I, I, yeah, really encourage you to 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 continue with that, and and please uh, uh, please uh, let's let's chat if if you if you'd like some help with it because that um, does sound like fun. Yeah, I'd yeah. I'd like just to uh, invite my colleague Melissa to talk a little bit about the the four courses that we're having um, coming up around climate finance. Um, if you're here yet, hi Melissa. Hi. Everyone, my name is Melissa Joseph, um, and I'm the outreach coordinator here at Wiki Education. Um, and yeah, this thank you for handing it over to me, Ian. So we have a couple of upcoming climate courses um, starting in April. Um, we'll also have a few sprinkled later into the spring. Um, one of them being our climate finance biographies, um, which will mostly be around uh, women biographies. Then we also have our global approaches to climate finance, which will start in early April. Um, we also have a climate change and human rights course. Um, and then of course my computer froze and I, I can't see the, the rest of the, um, the rest of my list right here, but um, in the links that both Leanna and Ian shared, um, learn.wikiedu.org, you'll be able to see the full list of our upcoming climate courses. Um, these will be great for anyone that's here joining or anyone in your network that you think would be interested um, and just wants to have a, like a general idea of how to edit Wikipedia. I love what you were saying, Marilyn, about how it kind of feels inaccessible. And so that's what these courses are all about is trying to make it more accessible and and change the demographic of what the standard Wikipedia <laughs> looks like, if you will. So yes, thank you so much. And I hope you will join. Thank you so much, Melissa. Great to have you here. Um, I think we have some questions from the chat and also if people want to ask questions, please, uh, please bring them in. Um, so there's a question here. Well, Dawn, I think you answered that partly in, um, in the Q and A, but about AI generated content, um, so since Wikipedia does not use primary sources, how are Wikipedians avoiding AI-generated con content but using real up-to-date information in their creations and edits? And um, if you want to sort of, Dawn, since you, since you already start to answer that, if you wanted to say that for, for the world to hear. Oh, right. So, yeah, so the, so the question was, how can Wikipedia proof itself um, future-proof itself against AI-generated um, 
text or images. Um, I don't know Julio um, or anybody else who is in the education sphere, how your communities reacted to ChatGPT a year ago. A year ago, I was teaching a course on science communication, debunking disinformation and handling controversy and crisis um, to people who actually work in the field. It was a college course, but to people who are employed and the whole chat, chat GPT thing blew up. And uh, were people freaking out about it at your university, Julio, with students handing in essays? Yes, so there were, yes, there is a limit Committees of everywhere, committees, people, everyone freaking out. And I just said, yo, everyone, what is this thing? Because every time you do an autofill on a text message, it's kind of, it's kind of almost like analogous to an AI. So I joined up for ChatGPT and I asked it questions. And I specifically asked it questions about me and my research. And then I discovered that it spat out fake journal research articles that I did not write. So I said, okay, it's pretty easy to fact check these, that these do not exist. You can go to Google Scholar, you can go to the journals, you will never find these. So um, what I'm saying is that since we're trying to add good references, um, you're always, if you start from the reference and that leads you to the text in the article, as student, student editors, and they get trained how to do this, right? You really train them how to do this. I think that that should be um, one pushback against this. I mean, can I ask Sulane, are you getting articles that are entirely chat GPT being submitted as pages? And, yeah. I, and I just don't know about, I mean, again, yeah. you have to do the vetting and it's slow. Yeah, yeah. And that, that's yet another problem with the new new page review system is that, that, that there's just so much crap coming in. So, uh, so AI is gonna make that problem worse for sure. Um, so in Marilyn's question, uh, yes. comment about um, status quo is that there are gatekeepers that get to decide what gets published and what does not. Um, and, you know, I've seen that problem over the years. But do you have any ideas about, um, you know, Wikipedians will say, oh, well, it's just keeping out the bad stuff. But if you're trying to get things added, it does really feel like you have to go through these gatekeepers, which are traditionally mostly young, younger white men. So do you have any thoughts on, I, I, on that? I, I don't know about the younger part. <laughs> they were younger um, 20 we, years ago. <laughs> we're getting old now. <laughs> um, so with existing, so let's, let's talk about the easy part, which is, edits to existing articles um with edits to existing articles you're still the the first people who see this who see your edit are likely going to be what's called recent pay changes patrollers or you know pe people who don't necessarily know about the topic and sometimes you get people some pos false positives about spam ultimately wikipedia you know when you get ultimately wikipedia works by consensus um if you the first answer that you get is no you know, you can you can look at it and say, well, am I am I right or am I wrong? And you know, sometimes you know they've told you no, and they've said why, um, and you're that can give you some pause. If you still think you're right, you can bring it to the wider community, um, and that's that's not hard. That's that's what the talk page is for. So if your first edit is reverted, you know, look, try to understand why it's reverted. Um, one of the things I wish we trained people on more is what's called watch lists. Okay, so you can click a button to, you know, start start button to watch an article. You'll get notified if your article's reverted, if your edit is reverted. You'll be able to see what kind of conversation is going on, and if you're reverted, you'll see why, and and who, and you know, usually people will give a reason. Um, and if you don't understand, if you if you if you you know, there's a reason you can. Uh, Try to fix it and try and 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 start again. If you don't understand, you can bring it to the talk page and say, "Look, I put this in. It was reverted. What's going on? Here's what I was trying to do. I think that that's you know an improvement. Here's why I think it's an improvement." And you have a conversation about it. Okay. And Wikipedia is 
oriented towards sorting out differences by having conversation, looking at evidence and people persuading each other. And often, you know, it, it, it sounds kind of, uh, uh, it sounds like it might not work, but it it actually does work, and a lot of things do get worked out by uh, people having a conversation about it. Um, I just want to mention that often Wikipedia is a culture shock because when we get pushback online, it, it it's 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 uh, um, we're used to thinking this is something like Twitter, where you know you're trying to amass lots of followers, you're trying to get lots of votes, you're dealing with masses of of horrible people. Um, Wikipedia culture is much more, um, uh, much less about the quantity of people who are, you know, clicking an upvote button, and it's much more about the quality of arguments, and people who are making high quality arguments do tend to get more support and get consensus. Uh, so would would really. Uh, encourage kind of having a little bit more faith in, in it, have, having some faith in the process. Um, and then if you can't work things out on the on the talk page, there's, there's further processes that you can go to that are really geared towards getting more eyes on the problem and thinking through and looking at, you know, what is going to bring this article in line with scientific consensus and minority and majority points of view and, and better understandability. Can, can I push um, back on that a little bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> please, One, please, please. I mean, while this is very true, yeah. one of the problems is this is the filter between the people who do that are the ones who become Wikipedians, the people who, right, right. who yeah, feel yeah, like, yeah. okay, I'm being, I'm not being allowed. Yeah, the, yeah. Very often that's, those they, are- the They people. just burn out. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, absolutely, absolutely. And I, I think, um, one of the things that I've been, you know, looking into and 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 seeing it's 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 worked, you know, many times in 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 the climate area in the past few years, is getting is instead of try, taking, you know, people with when when we get people with enough knowledge to work on these really difficult articles like climate finance, I mean that is a tough article to work on, um, or you know, low carbon economy. That's another one that's just a piece of crap and. It, Excuse me, but it's 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 a horrible article. We really need people with a lot of knowledge. And my goodness, when we get people who have that kind of knowledge, I don't want to be teaching them about the minutia of how to work with the community. I want to just get that knowledge out of them. Um, so I'd like to really one one thing that really works and 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 we need to scale up on is having more of a team approach where you get um, you know people who are subject matter experts can be kind of shielded from this uh, from this weirdness of Wikipedia, um, have them work with, you know, people who know Wikipedia well, um, maybe, you know, bring in some, you know, a few subject matter experts, and communicators together, and just, okay, figure out what does this article need, and have the Wikipedia people, you know, involve the Wikipedia experts more closely instead of trying to throw Wikipedia knowledge at people and, you know, uh, Turn people, turn people into uh, uh, put people, put put uh, put really uh, knowledgeable people on the on the front lines. You know that's not that's not necessarily the best place for them. We need uh, we need to integrate experts into our community better. And that that's yeah. sort of our goal, but definitely yeah. we probably need to integrate better with um, people like yep. the Climate Change Wiki Project, which I just dropped a link into chat, which is yeah, it's brilliant yeah. people. Um, yeah. It's 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 really discouraging to 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 I I, I totally feel for how discouraging it is uh with with the uh, with um uh, uh pe people getting getting reverted immediately um a lot of edits do stick but but we tend to remember the, the ones that don't um in terms of new articles reminder to people that articles for creation is usually an optional process um if you um, if you have a draft that's sitting there and if it's, if it's on the topic they don't have a conflict of interest about, you're welcome to move it to uh, make it a, a live article yourself, um, as long as you don't have a conflict of interest. Um, and that's something that, uh, you know, we can, we can explain how, how, to, how to do. Often, sometimes things don't get accepted because nobody understands the topic. Nobody who's reading it understands the topic. We're coming to the end of, of our time. Yes, I wanted please. to... Um, I just wanted to 
ask the panelists if there's yeah. anything else you wanted to to raise or talk about or respond to. Um, Julio, Marilyn, or Don. Yeah, go on, go ahead. Um, well, I'm listening with one ear, and then <laughs> I'm so adding um, the energy, household energy insecurity to the students because we're doing local food. It's applied plant ecology, anything with plants. So um, Marilyn, I um, have colleagues who work on climate finance, um, multilateral talks at the COP. So I put in the chat, email me, and I'll put them in there because I actually have a grad student who works on emerging biodiversity markets. So I, I know a bunch of people who happen to know that kind of stuff. And um, I'm always preaching the learn to edit Wikipedia and you'll understand why you should read it, but not cite it in an essay. Julio or Marlon? Anything else you want to go ahead? Well, just maybe just one experience. So I... Um... I think I I do agree that when when I've edited you know very small edit for example yeah. adding one reference one line one sentence to something related to climate change climate finance or sustainability um, that's okay I think um, I do remember editing a page and I'll put it in the chat which has nothing to do with this it's um, when there was a a murder murder of an an innocent Arab man of seventeen years of age last year in France. Um, by the name of Nahel, and there was a Wikipedia page that was started. And um, I added the person's ethnicity because there's a lot of evidence of racial ethnic discrimination, especially against Blacks and Arabs in France. And um, that was that kept getting rejected. So, so it's a fact, but it's also, um, mm. uh, some people would prefer to not have that fact on Wikipedia, mm. that person's ethnicity. Um, so it's more like someone with power kept deleting it, kept revising it, chose every other word to get at the same thing than that. And so I think there is, um, I think that's part of the why, part of why there needs to be a critical mass of diverse constituencies and people that have um, that have the status of those that have been working in Wikipedia world for a long time or that have the power to, reject or to edit or do, do certain things. So I would say there's a caveat, I think, to the whole, maybe you don't have enough expertise and that's why you reject it, or it seems like spam, and that's why you reject it. I think there's also entrenched bias mm -hmm. in the existing um, Wikipedia expertise or or um, those with the power to reject. I I agree. Um, and I think that, uh, but, I, but I think the, the problem is that there's no real way to tell the difference as a newcomer whether this person is uh, uh um or oh, there's a french wikipedia there's probably even uh, i won't speak for the french wikipedia um but you know there's there's no way for a newcomer to tell is this some random person just deleting my work or is this somebody who knows wikipedia policy because sometimes yeah. you run into people who are making bold statements about what Wikipedia, the, the, you know, you can't add this to Wikipedia. It's like, have you ever read the policy? Do you even know? But, um, and that's sort of, you know, that's why I dropped a link to the Tea House. It's really good to go to the Tea House as a new editor and, mm. you know, get a sense of, okay, have I run into a real problem or have I run into a troll? And I, th I feel that that, the people, a, a new editor's inability to tell that difference Yes. Is yes. Major barrier. Yes. Um, we yes. That's true. At the end of Absolutely. the hour, and you know, I, I really don't want to keep people who who have to go, but this conversation is going really well, so I don't want to cut it off right away. But please, if you if you need to go, please feel free to please. I can stay. Yeah, I'm happy to stay. Um. Sorry yeah, I, I will have to I, run. It's it's um late here in France, but yeah. thank you so much for having me. And Dawn, I don't have your um, your email, but I'll try to get it from the Wiki Education staff. I think we're all on the same email. Ah, eh? uh, yes, yeah. 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 Okay, so just yeah. and and your Q, I will email you directly because there was a mix up um, with two email addresses. I have a Gmail and then a your Q. I'll, I'll give you both. I answer both. Great. Well, thank you again. WhatsApp as well. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Anybody else want to add anything? 
Um, I just wanted to mention. Uh, I just wanted to mention that um, at anybody, it, 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 it's when when stuff gets removed, we think, okay, we do we do a tendency to think, well, it was removed by someone who's you know has the authority to review. Um, when it comes to existing articles in particular, basically you have much as much of an ability to revert other people as they have the ability to revert you. Um, and I would actually encourage your students um, when when they when they're adding references to Wikipedia uh, to look for stuff that's wrong. Um, sometimes stuff that's especially stuff that's tagged with citation needed, stuff that's unsourced, is often unsourced. Be because it's wrong um, or it's tagged a citation needed because it's wrong or because it's really out of date or it's uh, slight, somewhat wrong <laughs> or misleading um, or just shouldn't be there at all. Uh, so you can get to that uh, more critical, uh, 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 more critical thinking. So, so the, the, the skills that we tend to teach as, um, you know, when it comes to uh, uh, when we're getting people to add biographies, for instance, you know, uh, we see a citation needed in a biography, you know, okay, you find a source and stick it in. Um, uh, often a lot of unsourced or even sourced, that, that's the crazy thing, sourced uh, information in our climate articles is often really misleading. Um, it's, you know, it can it can be out of date. It can be, you know, the quality of the source can be wrong. It can be just be wrong emphasis on things. Uh, so so we, we, we need to kind of teach a different kind of skill set uh, uh, for, uh, for 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 editing some of these climate articles, I have, I have a really quick question. If there's time, yeah, in, and probably to Sulaine. Um, so one of the things that has happened um, in the last few years, especially since we launched with Wiki Edu, um, uh -huh. I've noticed that. I try to find pages that are lower class pages where they just need references, um, often plant species, you know, invasive. And that is so easy. It, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. find the article, find it, try and make it open access, put it in. Um, a lot of those pages have banners from um, four or five years ago saying updates, um, citations are needed. And I have removed banners. I mean, I, I have edited Wikipedia since 2013, but yeah, yeah. I tend to do it in in waves. Um, and I've noticed that all the references for my course, Julio probably has noticed this too. So where we're covering articles and there are assigned readings. So what the students do, and it's on a topic, they run to the Wikipedia page and they add that as a reference. So I've actually noticed that most of those class readings of articles and books already got used up. So now the current crop of students, they're a bit annoyed. And I've said, find another Wikipedia page where that's going to be a relevant article. Um, I just wondered yeah. about- it's, it's, it's getting harder to, to to make improvements to Wikipedia, you know, compared to 10, 20 years ago. So the but, but what about the banners where, where clearly the critique of the banner, it has been met um, it, I'm always so cautious about removing a banner. I'm like, did we do enough? Don't Are there be. Don't be. Get, get, Can you if, comment? If, if, if it says if it says this article lacks citations, and you look at it, and there's lots of citations now, get rid of the banner. Okay. If somebody disagrees with you, they can always put it back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's, that's it's the worst that can happen. Yeah. They have watch lists, and I swear I'll make a change, particularly under Dawn Baisley, where I'm known for writing about why Donna Strickland didn't have a wikipedia page i did that wapo op-ed seven years ago and i got a lot of hate mail for that one because she did have a page it was struck down then she gets a nobel prize and that's something you know um and um so there's definitely people tracking when i do that kind of editing for um ada lovelace day as well as you know for people for biographies i'm very careful um but um, i see them reversing things in real time <laughs> But but the but but the ones that we do in 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 the course are tend to be they're probably less controversial because they're not on living people autobiography. You know what I mean? Like it just it's just a different level of thing, and they're always tied to some boring journal article. Um, so uh, okay, I'll tell the students they can remove the banner because then you look and you go, wow, there's fifty references, and the banner is said to not enough site like. What is enough citations? And then you say that banner was put there five years ago. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> For sure. Well, I think um, we should probably wrap things up now. 
thanks again, all of you, for coming here. I really appreciate the the time you took to come here and your really insightful comments and answers and questions. And organizing this, yes. Yeah. Thank was, you for thank you for having something that's focused on climate. It's it's actually quite rare in the Wikipedia movement to have that. Uh, um, uh, often often when we do see something related to climate, it's a it's a flavoring rather than you know mm -hmm. actually being being the the goal uh, of improving articles. Um, yeah, well, I'm. Um, it's hard to miss. I'm I'm in Michigan, um, and yeah, I've seen the same kind of really crazy weather that we had the fog yesterday so there's today, no snow so much fog yesterday you couldn't even driving off campus you couldn't even see like it was crazy and the snow disappeared snow hasn't disappeared yet i'm still hopeful that okay. that it'll last a day maybe <laughs> climate change uh, Possibly. Mm -hmm. Well, climate change. I would say absolutely climate change. <laughs> warmest, yeah. really yeah. warm. Very, December, very, very likely. Yep. Really cold January, which isn't well, actually really cold. Thank you for connecting me. And I just wanted to let you know, I've got a lot of pages to do with the United Nations climate change talks. They're all listed, the Wikipedia pages, to improve the references. So I hope some of my students attended today and are going to go edit those pages and improve them. Well, Thank you all again, and I'm going yeah. to stop the recording now.